Species 7 here. Welcome back to the farm. This is, of course, Farming Simulator 2013. We are at Hagenstedt, and this is the MR mod, the more realistic mod, and I'm standing in a trailer. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, may notice we have a little more money than we had before. However, we have... <laughs> a little less gear than we had before. I sold the cedar that they gave us. It's, um... Okay, I always have to remember here, we need to always go into the mod section. Because, I, I don't know, maybe because it's played this game for a while and all that, but... Starting out with this thing has just never really made my day, you know? 2.1 meters it holds next to nothing and although you can pretty much mow it, use it behind a bicycle uh... top speed too is pretty slack so I was thinking of moving on up, I mean this is only three meters but hey at least you might be able to get almost twelve mile an hour And then I looked, well you need 125 to 190 horse now you'll notice if you go to <laughs> ah, the normal exact same page of cedars but that don't say MR now these are the stock Giants games ones that sort of information is not provided you have a seed capacity and what it will lay out but as far as what it's going to take to make it go round and round the field they didn't give that to you because it wasn't needed. Well, of course, now it is. So, even that simple cedar, and usually, to be honest with you, in the game, I'd like to move up to the sprinter as quickly as I can. Um, but, I mean, we're looking at a 220 to 310 horse tractor. Okay. Currently, <laughs> this is where it gets kind of interesting most powerful tractor we actually own and I'll notice all these tractors under mods the difference with them they don't say MR this was that uh, sort of old timey pack that Giants downloaded for free right because I do this thing through Steam um, the farming simulator through Steam account they automatically update everything every time I log it in so even though I started with a brand new fresh start this was included with it so but here we go. This is our most powerful tractor at the moment. Yeah, 109 horse. Well, it comes up a little shy. <laughs> um, it'll certainly do the one we had, but like I said, so would a bicycle. Uh, 135, that ain't so great either. You know. Get into these. Eh, still. I think you pretty much got to go the Hurleyman or higher, so we're like a hundred thousand dollars shy of getting. Ooh, this I have to do. This is how we make that hundred thousand dollars. But yeah, we're like a hundred thousand dollars shy of. Uh, and it's the other one, lovely, of being able to buy a really good cedar. So I think we'll sort of settle for a, an okay one. So I'm not going to buy that. I, like I said, I sold that absolute bottom of the line one. And I'm going to pick... Oh, 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 my goodness, you bloody break the thing. I'm going to go with the next from the bottom of the line. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, good thing is, it's not terribly expensive. I was actually quite surprised that they even... Oh, right, it won't slow down on its own. I was actually quite surprised that this tractor could handle this monster of a frickin' mower. What I'm going to have to do at some point is buy a little portable fuel uh, Bowser and drive it over here so that I don't have to dump the mower and run the tractor into town every time I need fuel, which I will need fairly regular. Alright, are you up or down? you're down already so let's light you up and one thing when I used to do this without the mod you could basically you had to go cruise control 2 and B 
be very careful to slow down on corners because of course corners will accelerate things at the outside of your center of mass much quicker than what your actual speedometer is reading. Um, yeah, you don't need to do that with the mod because this thing will only drag it along at uh, whatever it is, 7 or 8 miles an hour top end. Um, cornering is also much harder because it takes into account the momentum and the weight there's darn near as much weight on that mower as there is on your tractor. So yeah, I basically have the throttle just pinned and I'm making seven and a half mile an hour and I must slow down for the corners or like I said, you'll lose a lot of it. Now, I promise that throughout the series I won't uh, show you too many mowing missions. I realize that once you've seen one, uh, yeah, it's a whole different animal. There's no way you can just have it done by the five minute mark anymore. Um, once you've seen one, they all pretty much look the same. A mowing mission is a mowing mission. So, um, I actually logged in yesterday evening. I was going to record another episode. And uh, <laughs> I sat there and I sat there and I kid you not, 11 times in a row when the missions popped up because I had it set to two minutes so that, you know, I wanted to make a little extra money. I thought, well, maybe I'll have enough that when I start the episode, I can buy a tractor. Well, 11 times in a row, the mission that came up was for a front loader. <laughs> or, uh, yeah, a front loader. So, which we, of course, don't have yet. And the cheapest one, which I really don't even like, um, is pretty close to 100k. So, we're a ways from that. You know, we'd want to buy either the, uh, uh I think it's a Dutes that uh, is the actual tractor with the front loader attachment. Or, of course, I still uh, much prefer the telehandler, but I do believe it's like 120 or 130k. And we gotta do a lot of mowing missions to make 130k. 7k a pop. There we go. So I see good news, they've announced when X Reunion is being released, and it's fairly soon. I will most definitely be giving that a go for the money on my PC. I'm, uh, I know I've never actually uh, done a YouTube video of any of the X games, but I really do like them. Um, yay! Oops, I didn't mean to do that, I meant to do that. <laughs> yeah, I am a big fan of them. Uh, I think they're great. They are, of course, for anyone that plays EVE Online, sort of a less nerve-wracking um, way to get the same sort of an experience. Wow, it just came crashing to a stop. Couldn't drag that weight up that hill. Uh. There we go. Perfect. So yeah, I'm uh, excited that they're releasing the next X3. So let's go get ourselves a cedar. <laughs> I've also been playing a lot of uh, a lot of Euro Truck. I watched a few YouTube videos and I thought, yeah, I don't know, but I'd really like that. Um, it's a strangely addictive game. Um, I've been playing for, uh, I suppose, about a month now. It's been sort of my main go-to if I'm not doing something for YouTube in the way of a, whoa, the way of a game if I'm just for my own relaxation. And, uh, I'm only level 15, but I do own five garages, 25 trucks, and they're bringing in, uh, about a half a million a day, so I don't really have to worry about it. I drive a big Volvo FH16 with uh, 700 horse motor in it, and uh, all the rest of my guys drive the base model Scanias, except for one crew where it was much cheaper to buy the base model Renaults. All right, we're here for no wool worries, no pallet forks. Sorry. Not a tractor as much as I'd like to buy one, but we've only got 50k, so what we need 
Here's a cedar. Now we could of course afford this, but we can't actually use it. So, 2.5 to 5 mile an hour. Wow. Alright, but it holds more than this thing did by four times. So, and we'll go darn near twice as fast. So we're going to buy it, even though it's usually something I sell as opposed to buy in the early part of the game. <laughs> my all-wheel drive on? No, it's not. I shouldn't need it just to carry this home, I don't think. I don't think. There we go. Love early. And we're off. Almost feels a little bit light in the front end doing that, I'll tell you. There, let's make a little more, a little more room on the screen, shall we? Excuse me, lady, coming through. Yeah, take your time. Oh, girl. So this is going to be a less than exciting seeding venture, I can see. <laughs> Whoa! Darn! That uh, is something I really wish with one of these patches they had addressed. You uh, have no control over your vehicle when a mission thing pops up like that? No, sorry. That's it. You are out of luck. Now, I'm not sure how long the timer or how the, the background, the hidden timer, runs before it decides that you're not going to do the mission. But I'd like to get this filled with seeds. Oh, 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 I keep forgetting I can't just come to a stop so quick anymore. Stop, stop, stop. Now go backwards. Yeah, I keep forgetting that, uh, or I mean, I'm not sure how long it goes because I'd like to get this filled with seeds and get them out there if I could. All right, let's get this puppy filled up. Because then I can just hire a worker to start seeding. And I think, oops, that's the horn. There we go. That I want to run, I know, boring, boring, but I'm going to run canola. Because it is currently fetching the best price now. That's another thing this mod addressed, is the actual economics of this game and who I sell to, when I sell, and how much I sell makes a big difference as well as prices are randomized by location on a daily basis. Um, this of course would simulate the fact that you're not the only one in the world that's selling them product. So. Okay, let's get them all lined up. Then. Let's lower it down. Um, I'm going to switch into all-wheel drive, I think. There we go. And let's hire us a worker. And away he goes. Well, he's doing seven and a half mile an hour. See, a worker can go faster than we can. <laughs> now, oh, of course. It's the other part of the golf course. <laughs> oh, come on, fold that thing, boy. I'd hate to get three quarters of the way there and have them tell us that. Oh, big speed increase, eh? <laughs> Six mile an hour increase, I was not touching the gas, and we barely managed to make it up there. Holy... Yeah, this is... Um, anybody that plays this game, I would advise that you really, really try this mod out. Um, as I've said in just about every episode of Farming Simulator I've done, 
uh, go to FSUK <laughs> and get it there because that's where it's to be got. And I do believe the guy's name was Darius that made the mod. Apparently it took quite a while and I can see why. Um, and Giants, I guess, gave him permission to, uh, because he had to tamper with part of it that the modders don't generally get to play with. I guess something in Giants physics engine that needed a little tweaking, apparently, because darn, it, uh, I don't know if visually you guys can really pick up what the differences are, um, and there's really no way for me to do a side-by-side. -side. I don't really want to start loading non-modded uh, non-MR modded equipment in and things like that. Now, for those of you interested, from what I have read on the FSUK forums, um, it is possible to run this on other maps. This modded map is included in the, it's one of the four zip files that make up this mod pack, as it were. Um, so it is also possible, whoops, and I believe there's, for those of you that do modding and coding, there is an explanation given in that forum as to how you can do basically convert other vehicles to use the MR physics. So, if you wanted to uh, load up a map with this particular MR mod and then, uh, you know, start bringing in some of the like the Terra Track or something like that, instead of using the game, the game goodies of which there are lots, of course, then you can do it, and there is a way for it to be done. Personally, I thought, well, I'm going to uh, take full advantage of the efforts of this fellow and get out the product exactly the way he produced it. So you won't be seeing anything else brought in here. I haven't even. There we go. Oops, I did it again. I haven't even uh, loaded up any of the money modifications or anything, so we uh, sink or swim on what we make here, which is fine. Yeah. And since it's a new install, I don't actually have the other games, so I couldn't uh, borrow down money from any of my other games as I did with some of the other starts. <laughs> so there we go. Let's go and see how our seeding boy is doing here. He's only used 1% of the seed so far, and he's done 5% of the field. Look at that big mess there. I don't know. Now I'm thinking I'm going to have to find out if old Joe Bob here has got a brother, and if he can do a little bit better job. Maybe it's just this tractor, but that little sort of beginning seeder kind of looks a little bigger than I remember it. Cool. Well, doesn't seem to have any effort hauling it in uh, all-wheel drive, that's for sure. I suppose, for the sake of testing the mod, let's get him to lift here. Okay, the all-wheel drive is now off. Let's see how he does, shall we? I mean, maybe it won't make a difference. This thing's light enough that, like I said, that... Uh, doesn't really seem to, no. Oh, we'll leave it on for him. Probably safer. And there you be. Um, hopefully, by next episode, I will have done a couple more missions. And, uh, let's just see here. Uh, oops, I know one of these windows will... Mm, no. Actually, tell us. There we go. Mission income. So far, we've made $39,570 from making missions. Oh, look. We only have $36,000. <laughs> we've actually, uh, yeah, okay, made more than we have. So, very good. But we have a nice shiny Amazon cedar now instead of that old beater thing. And uh, hopefully, uh, new gear coming soon. So, hope you enjoyed the episode, folks. I certainly enjoyed making it for you. Please leave any comments, and uh, till next time, take care of each other, and Species 7, ciao for now.